See, the BJP Prime Minister does not want to answer any questions. He has never met the media. In 10 years, he has not answered the media. In 10 years, he has not answered our questions also. Now, let's take um, um, uh, Kachatheev. In 2015, in an RTI reply, the Ministry of External Affairs formally replied saying that Kachatibu is based on the international law and the international maritime border line, IMBL. And after looking at the evidence, the government of India agreed with the government of Sri Lanka that Kachatibu fell on, fell on the Sri Lankan side of the international maritime border line. And then the most significant words of that letter is that Kachatibu was neither acquired nor ceded to anyone. Now having used the word, Kachatibu was not ceded to anyone, how does the Prime Minister say that India ceded uh, Kachatibu to Sri Lanka? Why does he not read his own government's records? Who was the Prime Minister in 2015? It was Mr. Narendra Modi. Where was Mr. Jai Shankar? Jai Shankar was a second ranking officer in the NBA. And I think the next day he took over as foreign secretary. So having made a formal statement in 2015, why does the Prime Minister suddenly wake up uh, nine years later? And if he was so passionate about Kachatibu, what did he do for the last nine years? How many times has he visited Sri Lanka? How many times has the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka or the President of Sri Lanka visited India? How many times has Mr. Jai Shankar gone to Sri Lanka? The Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, in a memorandum, raised the issue of Kachatibu with the Prime Minister in a gathering at Nehru Stadium, Chennai. Why did the Prime Minister not reply? Nine years, the Prime Minister is silent. Nine years, the document of the Ministry of External Affairs holds the field. And suddenly, in the middle of elections, they asked the BJP president to submit an RTI question. And unbelievably, in eight or nine days, the reply comes. This is a stage-managed controversy. This is a manufactured controversy. Please remember, the Prime Minister is doing great injustice to the Sri Lankan Tamils. After the Kachatibu agreement was signed, Six lakh, nearly six lakh Tamils were, have been taken back to India, repatriated to India, and they are living peacefully here. Their sons, their grandchildren are living here. Further remember, there are 25 lakh Sri Lankan Tamils in Sri Lanka. There are still nearly 10 lakh Indian Tamils in Sri Lanka. Their interests are paramount. If you create a situation of confrontation between the Sri Lankan government and the Tamils in Sri Lanka, or a confrontation between Sinhalese people and the Tamil people in Sri Lanka, who will be hurt? It is the Tamil people will be hurt. Because Mr. Narendra Modi doesn't care about the interests of the Tamils, he's making these uh, wild statements.